Okay, well, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, our Discover Health Coaching webinar. We appreciate you taking the time to join us today. My name is Jennifer and I will be your moderator today. In this webinar, we are gonna be sharing some important information about becoming a certified health coach through the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute. And then we'll take whatever time we have at the end and answer some questions for you. If you do have any questions you'd like to ask, you can go ahead and submit those questions to our presenter through the Q&A feature in your chat panel. Our presenter today is Dominique Hodgen, the Executive Director of Education here at the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute. We do have a lot to cover today, so I'll go ahead and kick it over to you, Dominique. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to, uh, to our webinar, and thank you for joining us. Today, we are going to be introducing you to the field of health coaching. We will explain our two different certification options that you will be able to choose from, and we will go over what is included in our training the structure and format, as well as how our training is different so that you will be able to choose the best course for you. Next, we will talk about the vast amount of ongoing support that you will receive after you are certified. And then we will be wrapping up here with the length of the courses and the tuition. So that is our game plan today for our Discover Health Coaching webinar. Well, let's jump on in and we're going to start by getting a better understanding of what a health coach is. Health coaches truly are behavior change specialists who help their clients identify and stick with their health goals. A good health coach will meet their clients where they are and help them get to where they want to be. Health coaches are passionate about helping people make positive changes in their lives they support and they guide their clients as they work toward meeting their goals and also while making sustainable changes. Health coaches do this by educating, motivating, and guiding their clients in the areas of lifestyle and exercise, attitude, and nutrition, as well as holding their clients accountable throughout the entire process. And in recent years, it's been shown that health coaches are bridging the gap between traditional medicine and holistic health, helping their clients make those long-term changes by empowering them with the tools and the accountability that they need, not only to prevent disease, but also to reach optimal health and live healthier, more fulfilling lives. So that's kind of in a summary what health coaches are and what they do. And the, the gap filling between the traditional medicine and the holistic health is one of the reasons why health coaches are in such demand today. Health coaches are actively being recruited to be part of these integrative care teams in medical centers and physician offices and wellness centers. Also, corporations and businesses are seeking coaches to help reduce health care costs and improve workplace performance. There's lots of studies behind the improvement of um, performance in the workplace and reducing absenteeism when they're working with health coaches. And more and more virtual health coaching organizations are uh, starting to emerge, and there's been a tremendous increase in those um, increasing the demand for certified health coaches. Also, just individuals are seeking health coaching to help them manage their stress, uh, maybe to achieve their optimal weight or just help them improve their overall health. So there is a lot of you. There are a lot of humans out there that really need support. And um, these are some of the areas that health coaches are able to help them in that area. Now, a foundational component of health coaching is having a strong understanding of how the body works and how to help clients achieve that optimal health and wellness. At the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute, you will learn a lifestyle medicine approach, which focuses on changing behaviors to improve health, prevent disease, and create those healthy habits for life. You will learn to meet your client's needs by focusing on the whole person and the four pillars of health, which include lifestyle, how we live, exercise, how we move, attitude, how we think, and nutrition, how we eat. Now, this is truly a balanced approach to health. And we need all four of these areas really to work together to not only to get healthy, but to stay healthy. 
Now, when you choose the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute, you can be confident that you're being trained by a distinguished leader in the field of health coaching. If you are a licensed professional, maybe a registered nurse or a physician's assistant, uh, you could be a dietitian or social worker, maybe a counselor or a teacher or a personal trainer, you may be able to receive continuing education with your training through the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute, as we are either approved or accredited by all of the organizations that you see listed here. Now, if you are another type of licensed professional that maybe I didn't mention, there's a high probability that you could petition your state licensing board to obtain continuing education for the training that you complete with us. We've had a lot of professionals successfully do that. Uh, we are also CCE accredited by the International Coaching Federation, which is an internationally recognized organization. Our accreditation with ICF is actually twofold. For those who are already ICF certified, our training provides continuing education. And for those who might be interested in becoming ICF certified, our master certified health coach graduates can apply for the associate certified coach, which you might also see as ACC. And that is the credential that you can achieve through the portfolio pathway with the ICF. And we have some additional information on that. If that's something of interest to you, we'd be happy to chat with you uh, here at our office. We can answer some more questions on that for you. But it's just nice to know that you can actually get do completely different certifications with one training. We are also proud to be fully approved by the NBHWC, which is the National Board for Health and Wellness Coaching. And this means that the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute Master Health Coach Certification meets the most current standards established by the NBHWC. So you can be confident that you're receiving an education that prepares you to be an effective health coach, of course, but it also offers you a path to become board certified. Now the NBHWC is the only organization offering a national board certification to eligible health coaches. And I'll be touching more on the national board exam and the NBHWC here in a few minutes. Now, when you register for a training here, you can choose to become either a certified health coach or a master certified health coach. With both of these certification paths, it's important to know that the training here is very interactive and it incorporates something called experiential learning. And what that means is that you will be interacting with your instructor and your classmates throughout the training through interactive Zoom calls. You'll be participating in conversations on discussion boards. There's several hands-on activities and there are some live interactive coaching sessions as well. So this is not a read a book and take a test training. This is human interaction with both the instructors and your colleagues in the class. So this is a rich learning experience that's going to better prepare you to be an effective health coach because health coaching is all about communication. So we want to make sure you have ample time to practice during the training. Now, the Certified health, health Coach Path will give you all of the foundational information that you need to begin working with your clients, including the content knowledge in the areas of lifestyle, exercise, attitude, and nutrition, along with foundational coaching skills and behavior change. You'll receive a comprehensive program and client-facing materials that are unique to the life stage specialties that you choose and can be used with either groups or individuals. So it's a pretty broad reach as far as what you can do with your training here. Now, this allows you to really start coaching your clients as soon as you're certified. So that's one of the benefits. It's actually almost like you're getting an internship embedded um, with your training and all of the materials that you need to utilize with your clients are going to be presented to you and given to you in the training. So when you're done, you're ready to launch and start coaching. Now, our live stage specialties that you can choose from include families, pregnancy, and adults and seniors. So you can choose one or more of those, and I'll go a little bit more in depth about what each one of those includes in a minute here. 
You're also going to be learning your foundational marketing strategies to help you be a successful health coach. If you want to be self-employed, we'll include some of that here in your initial six week course. And then we also have additional support after you're done with your training, which I'll cover again later here in the presentation. And everything in your training is going to be delivered through a flexible online learning platform, which allows you to study when it works best for your schedule. So you are going to have some live components of your training, but the majority of your work is going to be on your own. So you get to pick and choose when you can work on that during your schedule. So let's talk a little bit about some of the different, the three different life stage specialties that we have available for you. We'll start with the families training. This training focuses primarily on prevention and it includes information for the whole family. So parents and children, you will learn important information to help both children and adults create a healthy lifestyle. That's both practical and fun. You will learn how to educate and motivate parents to advocate for their kids, helping them make those healthy choices that are so important. Parents will learn how to model healthy behaviors. They'll learn how to shop smart and help the family be more active, as well as be able to prepare healthy meals that kids actually love. It has been scientifically proven that when children have good nutrition and are active, that they can get on track for a lifetime of good health. And it also improves their learning and their behavior, their self-esteem, and even their sleep. So it's a pretty broad spectrum here, but the focus here with the families is prevention. Now the pregnancy course will equip you to work with both expecting and nursing moms, helping them improve their health and the health of their baby. The training covers anywhere from I want to get pregnant all the way to baby is home. So it goes beyond that, just that nine months of pregnancy. Your clients here will be learning how to have a healthy pregnancy and delivery, as well as a happy, healthy baby. Now, the third program is the Adults and Seniors course, and this one is going to train you how to coach any adult starting at age 18 and going all the way up into the senior population. You will also cover specific content that is going to really focus on some of the specific areas that are important with aging adults. So we are gonna cover, like I said, the 18 all the way up through 20s and 30s and 40s, but there is a unique, some unique concepts that are applicable to the aging adults. So we wanna make sure that that's included here too. And that's why we call this one adults and seniors. So you're really getting the full spectrum. In this training, you will learn how to help adults who want to heal their body from a disease. Maybe they want to lose weight or prevent illness. And then, of course, have a long, happy and healthy life. Uh, this population often seeks health coaches because they need help with a specific issue. So during the training, you will gain a better understanding of the cardiovascular system, diabetes, inflammation. We'll talk about brain health and the digestive system, as well as weight loss and the impact that quality food and movement can have in each of these areas. So this training is going to equip you to work with both men and women who want to get healthy and then stay healthy by making their health a priority in their often busy lives. Now, each of these three specialties comes with a full program that you will be able to use directly with your clients. So each one comes with about six hours of content that you will be able to use with your clients directly. So again, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already created for you and you can use 100% of what we give you, part of it or none of it. It's completely up to you, but we wanna make sure that you have all the tools and ability to launch quickly. So that's what that is going to provide for you. Now to become a certified health coach, you will choose one, two, or all three of the life stage specialty courses that I just went over. The combination that you choose really just depends on your goals as a health coach and who you are most interested in working with. So as a result, your course could be six weeks long if you choose just one of the life stage specialties. It will be nine weeks long if you choose two of the life stage specialties and then 12 weeks long if you choose all three. So again, the ball's in your court. You just decide which ones you are most interested in participating in. 
All right. Well, now that you have a better understanding of what's covered in each of the courses, let's talk a little bit, a little bit more about the formatting. So the certified health coach training is in a structured yet flexible online format, and it's very similar to an online college course. And as you just saw, will either be six, nine or 12 weeks long, depending on how many of the life stage specialty courses you choose. A typical week in the online classroom will look something like this. So every week you will have a reading assignment and you will view your e-learning segments. You will also have a live instructor walking through the course with you, providing both support and feedback. Your instructor will hold a live interactive Zoom call every week with the entire class for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. We, of course, encourage you to attend these live classes whenever you can. However, every call is recorded and posted in the course within 24 hours. So if you are unable to make the live call, you're welcome to watch the recording in lieu of the live call. Now, the e-learning segments that you will watch each week are basically pre-recorded interactive presentations that you can watch as many times as you like. You will also have several homework assignments, and those are going to be due each week by Sunday. So each week, the course will open on Sunday, with the exception of the first week, which opens on Monday, so we can be here to support you when you log in for the first time if you need that. And then all of your homework is going to be due the following Sunday with 24-7 access to everything during the week so that you can work on it when it works best for your schedule. In order to pass the training, you will need to achieve an 85% or higher on all of your homework, your assessments, the final exam, and the live interactive coaching session. And we do get a lot of questions about this first live interactive coaching session. So let me pause here to just give you a little bit more information on what that looks like. So here in your first six weeks of training, we are going to be really um, covering a lot of different information, but we're going to hone a little bit deeper into the group coaching model, and then we'll show you how to use the material in an individual coaching session as well. But in order to get you some experience with group coaching right out of the gate, that is what your first coaching session is going to be, is a group session. And so what you will do is you will find three people, just needs to be three, they can be friends and family or neighbors or colleagues if you want to. I will give you a little tip, though. It is much easier to coach people you don't know than people you do know. So if you can find people that are outside of your inner circle, it will actually be a much better experience for you. And I cannot tell you how many people have circled back to me and said, oh, my gosh, you were so right. I'm so glad that I didn't have my husband there or my daughter or my next door neighbor. Um, it was such a much better experience. So um, just a little uh, tip for you there. But basically, you'll get all three people together. You can coach them in person or you can choose to do this in a video type coaching session like via Zoom. You'll get them all together at the same day and time. So it will be a group session. And group coaching is a little bit different than individual coaching. Group coaching tends to be a little bit lighter, a little bit more um, loose and fun. Um, it's basically just having a conversation. You are going to have content materials that you'll be able to go through with them. We have a PowerPoint presentation that will help kind of guide the conversation, but it is not a presentation. It's just a, that PowerPoint is just kind of a guide to help you cover the content and make sure that you're creating dialogue with your participants. There are also going to be hands-on activities during this live session, and you're going to be answering questions. They're going to be talking to each other and talking to you, and it's just kind of that, that conversational type of an environment. And then you're going to share, all some, share some information with them, uh, help them do some goal setting, and kind of walk them through. It typically takes about an hour to 90 minutes, depending on which of the life stage courses you've chosen. And then when you're done with your session, then you're going to ask each of your participants to complete an evaluation form that we will provide to you. They'll fill that out, sign it, date it, and hand it back to you. And then after they leave, you will sit down and write what we call a reflection, which is basically reflecting back on what it was like to be on the other side of that coaching experience where you're not learning the information anymore. Now you're sharing the information and guiding your clients through some behavior change. And so we asked um, some several questions that you can answer that will help kind of guide that what that reflection is going to look like. But you're basically painting the picture of how your session went, what happened, what went well, what was unexpected, what would you like to improve on, what kinds of things happen that you want to share with your instructor. Then you will finish writing that. It's generally about a page. And then you will take the three evaluations that your clients completed. You will take that 
pair that up with your reflection, and then you will submit that online. And your instructor will take quite some time to sit down and grade that for you, ask you questions, give you feedback. Uh, and that's where that's going to be your live interactive coaching session. This first session, we do not ask you to videotape. That takes a layer of nerves off of you for that first kind of entry into coaching. And so it gives you that freedom to just kind of be you. And then you're going to share. We get all the information what you share with us it gives us all the information that we need to really assess how your session went and to give you good feedback. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of what this, the live session looks like and everybody does it. And if you're nervous about that, that's completely normal. Everybody's a little bit nervous about it. But I promise when you get through the start getting through the content, it gets more comfortable as you're starting to learn the information and you're practicing with it. Uh, you'll get more and more comfortable with that. And then that'll ease you right into it. So before you even leave the training, you've held your first coaching session and that takes all the fear out of that and you can hit the ground running as soon as you're certified. All right, well, let's switch gears here a little bit with them and start talking about the Master Health Coach Certification. So this is your second option. And this is achieved when you successfully complete one or more of the Life Stage Specialty courses, because that is a prerequisite to get into the master training. And then you will also then complete the master training. And that is an additional 24 weeks of training plus a self-paced practical skills assessment. Now, you will be able to um, choose to you know, add the master training on right at the beginning. So you, if you know right now you want to be master certified health coach, then I would pick, you just pick whichever life stages you want to do and the master training together. When you register, you'll register for the master training and then you'll just go straight through. And what your, what your schedule would look like would do, you'll do a six week life stage course first, whichever one you pick. Then you'll do your master training, which is a, ends up to be about seven and a half months. It's six, 24 weeks of content and then your practical skills assessment, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then if you did any additional life stage courses, then those will fall after your master training. So that's the order. A lot of times people think that we do all the life stages first and then the master, but actually we only want to do one of those first and then get you right into the master content. Um, there is a method to our madness of how we do this. Um, there's definitely some learning skills that happen in the ordering of that um, um, how we do it that way. So you can do it that way. If you know, right out of the gate, you want to be master certified. If you're not sure, and maybe you just want to get your toe in the water and you want to start with the life stage courses and you want to add the master training on at a later date, that is also an option. And I'll talk about how you can do that. So now let's just really cover, quickly cover some, what some of the content in the master training is. Uh, this is really, the content here is really applicable to all age groups. So it's not specific to a life stage, which, which is why we don't, doesn't matter which life stage you start with. It's up to you. The, the content here is really all age groups because, and it focuses more on the psychology of behavior change. And it has an emphasis on the, th the stages of change that people go through through and positive psychology. So we're meeting our clients where there are and moving forward. We're not going back and revisiting a bunch of things um, that haven't worked in the past. What we're trying to do is build on that positive psychology. In this training, you are going to be learning uh, coaching skills and evidence-based coaching methods, such as motivational interviewing and appreciative inquiry that you can use to help your clients successfully make sustainable changes. You will be equipped with coaching techniques and tools that have been shown to be effective when coaching individuals. So this is much more focused on the individual coaching model. And that's going to include things like client handouts and client assessments and all the tools and resources that you need to help your clients. And again, these are all things that we are going to provide to you. Now, during the master training, you will be learning a little bit deeper some of the biometric measures, which include things like blood pressure and blood sugar. Uh, you're going to learn how to read a lipid panel. You'll also learn about sleep hygiene. We'll talk about stress management uh, at, in, at length because that's a big issue. We'll also introduce you to smoking cessation and we'll talk about alcohol use and drug abuse as well. So we're going to take some of the health and wellness content and we're just going to kind of take that to a deeper level here in the master training. In addition, of course, to the majority of the content here is on the behavior change side of, um, of the equation. Now, during the master course, you will be participating in a weekly live online class via a webcam. So this live component allows you to learn in that real-time classroom environment where you will receive immediate feedback, not only from your instructor, but from your peers. And you will be able to be um, participating in breakout sessions with your, with your fellow students to practice the coaching skills and strategies that you will be learning. 
The key thing here is that these live classes, unlike your live class in the, the Zoom class in the for the hour and hour and 15 minutes in the live stage courses, these classes are two hours long and they are mandatory. And you will be participating in interactive learning during this portion of the training. So the majority of your learning is going to happen in this two hour block. It's just one day a week for two hours, but it is mandatory. The NBHWC uh, requires that all of our graduates complete 40 hours minimum live synchronous training in order for you to qualify for the national board exam. And since we're a fully approved program, everybody goes through this. So you do, in order to get your certification, master level certification, you do need to participate in all of those two hour classes. We have a little wiggle room if you have an emergency, but Look at your schedule before you book the master class and make sure that that two hour block is something that you can attend every week. Now, the other thing I want to just kind of expand on a little bit here is that self paced practical skills assessment. So, I mentioned earlier that this is going to focus more on individual coaching. So, throughout the training, you are going to be having volunteers again, but these are just going to be individual volunteers. So, we're done with the group coaching practice that was in the first six weeks. Now, we're just going to focus on that one on one coaching model. And you're going to learn how to do, we're going to start you off with what we call coaching conversations. So, they're not entire coaching sessions. Um, you're not quite ready for that, but we're going to build up to that. So we're going to help you start practicing some of your skills. So what's going to happen is you're going to learn the skill in the live two hour class. Sometimes you're going to be practicing that skill right away in a breakout room with your peers. Then you can take that skill out and practice it with a, with a live volunteer. Now, sometimes we get asked, well, why, why can't we just do all of it with our peers? Well, your peers know exactly what you're supposed to do and say, and sometimes they try to help you, which is not always helpful. So we want to make sure that you're getting that your kind of your nerves out by practicing with your peers because it's a nice, safe place to practice. But then we want you to get that real world life experience because unlike your peers knowing what you're going to, you know, what to expect, and they're going to kind of help you by being really nice and helping you kind of get through the process. When you're out coaching a volunteer, all bets are off, right? We don't know what they're going to say or what they're going to do or what they're going to bring up. And so it just kind of helps keep you on your toes and, and help you develop those skills where you can be really flexible. Coaching is not a script. It really is a conversation and helping you know how to navigate that conversation and really help guide your client to help them meet their goals is a is an art. And so we want you to, to give you as much practice time as you can with that. So you will be doing a lot of volunteer coaching throughout the whole 24 weeks of training. And you're going to be those are going to start to get longer as you go through. We do ask that you have at least. Uh, we try. We encourage you to get about five uh, individuals that you can coach. And some of these can be the three people that you coached already, right? So you can do some of that, um, just use them again. Um, but you're going to go through and practice. And then at the end, we're going to do, you, instead of doing a final written exam here, you're going to have a self-paced practical skills assessment. This is your final. It is basically four coaching sessions. Your initial coaching session is your initial consultation. That will be followed by three subsequent coaching sessions. Questions. There is a plan to how this happens. So once you're done with your initial consultation, you can go ahead and do your first coaching session with your first volunteer. One of the caveats with the practical skills assessment is you need a volunteer that you've never coached before. So this cannot be one of the people you've already coached. This needs to be somebody brand new. And so you'll coach them with their first coaching session. You'll write a ref you'll actually videotape all your coaching sessions throughout the master training. So every time you're going to videotape your session, when your client leaves, you're going to watch your video, you're going to write a reflection, and then you're going to submit the video and the reflection up for into the system for a grade. So you're going to have lots of practice doing this throughout the training. When you get to your practical skills assessment, the same thing holds true. So you're going to videotape your first coaching session, write your reflection, submit your video and your reflection, then you're going to be required to meet with your instructor or mentor um, for about 20 minutes, live one-on-one -on -one feedback. And then once you're done with that feedback session, then you can go to session, your second coaching session with that same client. And what we're looking for is progression with this client, right? Somebody's never been coached before. You're going to help them progress through these coaching sessions and start to see the changes that are happening within them. But after each coaching session, everyone's videotaped. All of them, you'll write a reflection. All of them, you'll submit. All of them, you will 
uh, with all your practical skills assessment ones, you will meet with your instructor or mentor and then go on to the next session. You cannot move on to your next session until your practical skills assessment um, video for that next session previous has been reviewed and you've talked to your instructor about it. So that will happen after each of those three coaching sessions. And then once you're done, then you're a master certified health coach. So um, it's kind of a two part component, but rich training, uh, really hands on, really making you confident and skilled in your training. And we get feedback about that all the time with those who graduate from our program saying, wow, I feel like I just went through a full internship along with my learning. And so it really is empowering you to be a successful coach. That's our goal here. Now, once you are a master certified health coach, you are then eligible to apply for the national board again, board exam. The national board exam, again, is offered through a partnership. It's through the National Board for Health and Wellness Coaching, which you've already heard me mention. And they have partnered with the National Board of Medical Examiners, which is the same organization that offers the board certification to physicians to physicians and nurses and other medical professionals. So if you are a medical professional, this will be very familiar to you, um, but that's who does the exam. There are three board exams offered each year, uh, one in March, one in July, and one in November. And one of the things that is important to note is that there's actually an application period several months before the exam itself. So if you are interested in sitting for the July exam, for example, you would be applying in April. If you're looking at sitting for a March exam, you'd be applying in December the previous year. And there are some things that you need to complete before you actually can do the national board exam. Obviously, completing a approved program like the Doctors Wellness Institute Master Health Coach Training is your first requirement. You do need to have both the 24-week and your practical skills assessment completed, and you'll have a certificate that shows that those have both been done. And then after you're done with your practical skills assessment, the NBHWC requires you before you can apply for the board exam to complete 50 additional 20-minute or longer coaching sessions. Those are all on the honor system. They don't have to be videotaped, but they do have to be completed. And you'll have a log that you'll need to submit as part of your application. And then you'll pay your fee, which is $500 at this time to sit for the board exam. Um, and then if you are um, interested in it, we also offer a uh, just for our graduates, we offer a 12-week board exam prep study group. So we have a structured um, process that we will help you go through to help you prepare for the board exam. If you've never taken a board exam, it's unlike any other exam you've ever taken. Uh, it's very, very different. It's a difficult exam. The questions are lengthy. They're all scenario based. There's just a lot to it. And so in the board exam prep study group, we help you learn how to navigate the questions. We help you review the content. We answer questions for you, provide clarification. Uh, just really help you kind of marinate in all the information that you learned in the training to really own it and understand it. Um, because when you get into that type of an exam, you're really synthesizing data, meaning you're having to pull from multiple different things that you've learned. They're not real straightforward questions. And so we help you learn how to do that. So, uh, and we do have a much higher, those who participate in our study group have a much higher pass rate than those who choose not to. So it is optional. You don't have to do it. It's uh, it less, uh, I think it's $169 to do the 12 week study group. And uh, we have, you'll be doing individual study. You'll be doing small group uh, meetings every week. And then we'll have large group meetings, several large group meetings before the exam itself to walk through some of the test taking tips and strategies and practice questions, lots and practice questions. So we will help you go through that. So one of the other questions in regards to the board exam that we often get asked is, well, what are the advantage of becoming board certified? Because it's not required. You don't have to be board certified to coach. You can start coaching right after your first six weeks of training. I was actually coaching, doing community outreach at a local hospital right after I got finished with the family's training. So you can start coaching right away. You're equipped to do that. Just, just like a college degree, though, the more you study, the more you learn, the more you practice, the better of coach you're going to be. Uh, and if you decide you want to be board certified, that's just a personal decision. I personally am board certified. I'm a big proponent of it. I think it's a great experience uh, and it will make you a better coach just in preparing for the exam. So uh, it's definitely uh, recognized. Board certified health coaches do hold the highest credential available, which gives them an increased credibility and an advantage when they're applying for positions within different organizations. Um, many organizations do require board certification. Um, 
not all of them. It just kind of depends on the organization itself. Um, and then also, you know, board certified health coaches just allow you to have um, that higher credential, allowing you to work with different types of organizations. Um, there are billing codes that have been released uh, and utilized, can be utilized by board certified health coaches. Right now it's category three. Uh, they're also working on getting HSA and FSA um, approval to help do that. And then they're working on getting some of the health coach insurance or the health insurance companies to recognize health coaching as a viable uh, reimbursement. So there's a lot of options out there. Um, you don't need to do a lot of people pay cash for coaching that they don't, you don't need to have insurance coverage um, unless you are working in a medical center. And then a lot of times they have different uh, processes to how to make that happen. So there are just definitely some advantages uh, to becoming board certified, but again, not mandatory, not required, just an option if you want to keep going. But I promise it will make you a better coach for sure. All right, well, let's shift gears here a little bit and talk about some of the ongoing support that you will start to receive once you complete your first six weeks of training. And this content that I'm going to go through here is available to you, whether you choose to be a certified health coach or a master certified health coach, you're going to get access to this um, after your first six weeks of training. And it includes things like um, just support for you by phone or online with our staff here. You'll have access to our coach success manager, uh, who is 100% of her job is to help coaches be be successful and launch well. So she's available to you. Uh, we do monthly email newsletters that have all kinds of great um, content and studies and information just to kind of keep you current of what's going on in the industry. We also offer an annual refresher course, which allows you to stay current with the most recent course updates. As a science-based training, things do move and evolve and there's new studies that are released. And so we do try to keep our training current with a lot of that. Uh, so if you, you know, get through the training and six months later, like, oh, I need to get a refresher, you can jump into your refresher course and look at the content again. So it is continues to be available to you after you're done. And as long as you stay active uh, and keep your renewals up, you will be um, good to go to have continued access to that. You'll also have access to our coaching community, which is through our private Facebook groups. This is just uh, available again, just for our graduates. And we have a private Facebook group for our core graduates and also one for our master graduates. So we have a certified health coach group and a master certified health coach group. And you can connect with your peers. We have thousands of graduates. So it's a great way to connect with other people. A lot of times there's jobs posted on those boards and there's um, ideas and collaboration and all kinds of things that you can connect with your coaching community because you definitely want to stay uh, connected with all of your peers to help you get the newest and the latest and just stay fresh on what's out there. Additionally, you will be receiving access to a library of webinars and resources, including tools to enhance your knowledge and help you build your coaching practice. Um, and this does include access to some affordable marketing resources, including websites and brochures and uh, virtual uh, marketing tools. Um, these are very affordable. They, um, they're not free, but they're super inexpensive. They're just available just to our graduates, but we're just recouping the cost to develop them. But they have been professionally designed designed and written. And so if that's not your wheelhouse and you're not, a, you, that's not something you like to do and you want to launch quickly, you can purchase whatever, whichever of these you think is going to best help you promote your coaching practice, especially if you want to be self-employed. Obviously, if you're working for a company, this might not be something you need, so you wouldn't get them. Um, if you are going to be self-employed, I definitely would encourage you to take a closer look at our websites. With having a web presence in today's virtual world is really important to marketing yourself and your services as a health coach. And our websites are very unique. When you you purchase uh, one of the websites, and by the way, they're half the price of some of the websites out there on, available on the internet. Um, but when you purchase a website, what we're going to do is you're just going to pick a theme and then we're going to send you a form that you're going to share your bio, what your social media links are, what services you want to offer, all the things that you want on your website. And then we have professional web designers that are going to build it for you. So we're not giving you just a blank template that you have to figure out how to build. I don't know how to build a website as a coach. Uh, a lot of people don't. And so let's leave that to the people who 
that's their skill set and in their wheelhouse. Let's let them do that. Uh, typically, it takes three to four weeks from the time you complete your form to when you get your live working website. And it's been spell checked and proofed and all of the things that need it um, to be available to you and have all the information you need are all done. So it comes back to you live on the Internet working. And so it's just kind of a neat um, option for you to market yourself if you want to be self-employed as a coach. So something just to check out when you go through the training. Additionally, we do a lot of ongoing education here. So there's ongoing educational webinars on topics ranging from marketing to sleep to nutrition. We have expanded topics. Obviously, we can't teach it all to you in six weeks. Um, you're not going to learn all in six months either or six years. There's just way too much information out there. But we do offer a lot of ongoing education. Um, we also have a, a complimentary marketing webinar series. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. This is just another tool to help you launch your own coaching practice successfully. Uh, it's about a three to four hour self-study course. It's included in the price of your training. So you don't pay extra for that. Um, but it's just a, a resource for you to go through and then it'll guide you through the process and you'll end up with our coach success manager. Uh, and you have things that you actually have to complete in there. It's not just reading and learning. You actually have to generate how to build you know, your coaching practice. And so um, that's just another resource that's provided. We also add new uh, educational webinars several times a year so that you can continue to grow and learn um, different things as a health coach. We have phenomenal topics in there. We bring in guest speakers and we have original content that we've developed here. There's just a lot of really neat things that are available to you uh, in that. So just a way for you to keep growing your knowledge. Now, once you complete your training, you are going to be equipped, obviously, to coach both in person and virtually. I mentioned we have PowerPoint, so you can use those on Zoom and work directly with your clients if you want to be the speaker and the presenter and talk about that. But we also have um, a program that you can purchase outside of the training, and it basically is... Um, it's a, it's a kind of a self-study for your clients. We call it our e-coaching program. We have one currently available for the families and the adults and seniors. We're also working on one for the pregnancy, but it's delivered through an online coaching platform. So if you want, if you want to get this, you do have to go through a little bit of a training if there's a small cost to do that, if you want to offer this, and then you will be able to sign up your clients and then they can go through the content on their own. And then you would be working with them, um, you know, doing a call with them once a week after they walk through some of the content, ask their questions. But the e-coaching pro process here has all kinds of um, video segments and discussion boards that just kind of helps your clients learn the information. And then you will learn in your self-study course how to customize your online sessions for groups or individuals. You'll learn how to facilitate discussions and incorporate other live components. Like if you want to do a Zoom call or telephonic coaching sessions, that will all be in that training. So this is just another tool that you can utilize. Again, optional. Don't have to get it if you don't want to, but it's available to you. It's something we've designed that a lot of coaches take advantage of. It seems to be very popular. So it's just another resource that you can do to reach more people in your world. Now, once you complete your training, you are going to be joining our community of over 13,000 coaches, and we now have hit 100 countries. So we have coaches all over the world and really great um, people that are just truly making a difference in the lives of those around them. This is the best way to reach maximum people is just to have lots of coaches out there reaching their circles and people that they are close to um, in their communities. And we would love to go through all of our different coaches that we uh, we've graduated here in this webinar, but we just don't have time. So I am going to point you to our conversations with coaches podcast, and you can hear for yourself directly from the coaches what they are doing. So this is a podcast that we try to keep this um, pretty current. We have lots of new ones coming through. There are many interviews already posted and available for you to listen to. It's available through our blog page on the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute website. We also have, uh, it's also available if you subscribe to Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Those are, they're also available there. And again, we continue to add new ones regularly. And so just kind of can keep an eye out those or subscribe to it to get what the newest and latest is. Um, they're typically about 30 minutes or less, but it's just an interview. It's a very candid conversation. Um, they're not scripted. They're just 
conversation. So you can hear from them what they're doing. We have coaches, we have nurse coaches, we have coaches that are working with weight loss. We have coaches, a coach that's working in a prison, coaches that are working in um, city municipalities and all kinds of phenomenal stories in here. Some really powerful things that are happening. It's been really exciting to see all the different things that our, um, that our coaches are doing. So I encourage you, if you have some time just to pop into the podcast and take a listen to what, uh, what our coaches are doing. And you can hear a little bit about what different things coaches are doing. So if you're not sure what you want to be or what you want to do as a coach, um, this might give you some great ideas. So definitely encourage you to take a listen to that. Now, we often get asked how the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute is different. So thought we would just do a quick recap and highlight some of the unique benefits that you will receive when you choose the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute health coach training. First, uh, you're going to get research-based content. This is science-based, holistic approach to health and wellness and all backed by science. So it's very um, it's all real information, but it's not just a theory or an opinion. There's just real science behind it that shows that the information that we're sharing is valid and reliable and things that you can feel confident in sharing with your clients. You can also be confident that you're receiving a quality training from an accredited and approved organization that of course also qualifies you to be a board certified health coach through the NBHWC. You get to choose your own training path uh, with a targeted approach to work with the different life stage specialties, which gives you the flexibility and control to determine who you want to work with and provide you with the specialized training that you need to meet the needs of the audience that you're most passionate about. The training focuses on practical application. So we're not just a book study program. Like I mentioned, that means you're going to be receiving client facing materials and instruction on how to use them in a real world setting. You're going to be practicing it all the way throughout the training. Uh, it's not just what to do, but why to do it and how to do it. Right. Our, our, a lot of times uh, when we're working with our clients, they, they know they're supposed to eat right and move. They just don't know how to do that. So we're going to show you that practical application and baby steps so that they can be successful in changing their health and wellness with the support of you as their health coach. With the certified and master certified health coach path, you have the ability to choose the training that best suits your needs and your goals. You basically get to choose what you need and when you need it. So you can pick any of our life stage courses to start with and you can add on life stage courses later or the master certified health coach or you can get the whole thing right out of the gate and do it all back to back. It's up to you, uh, whatever is in your um, space that's going to allow you to get them the most out of it for you and what you want to be as a health coach. And then, of course, you will receive unparalleled and ongoing support and resources, including access to our coach success manager. So we are not a training that's just going to drop you off at the curb and say, thanks for coming. Hope you had a great time and learned a lot. We actually want you to help people. We're a nonprofit organization that our mission is to help people get healthier, right? So our goal is to help train you so that you can go help people get healthier. And so we want to continue to be that support and resource for you. So if you have a question, which I promise you won't have probably your first big question until three to six months until after you're done with your training, um, then you're going to be like, oh, shoot, who do I call? Well, you have a lifeline. You just pick up the phone and talk to one of us here. Several of us are coaches. Uh, some of us are board certified. So you'll have access to people that can help you guide you through what you are looking for to help you be a successful health coach. <laughs> 